Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new project motor racing video here on the channel. So today guys we're going to be going over the Hadron physics engine that powers project motor racing and a little bit of detail around it as I have had some comments about um concerns rather about it being on the uh, Giants engine however as I'm going to go over in today's video it's a lot more than that but before we get into today's video guys if you are new around here please do consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video if you did enjoy it down below and comment your thoughts and join the discussion about project motor racing down in the comments below so let's get into today's video so first of all what is Hadron Hadron is the bespoke physics engine which has been developed specifically for project motor racing it's built on the same foundation as the Giants engine which is what has been known from farming simulator however and this is where people get confused it's been totally re-engineered for this game and for racing performance with unmatched realism it operates at a super high rate of 720 hertz for vehicle simulation fidelity and it's been designed from the first principles which enable foundational and ultra precise simulation employing a modular multi-body vehicle solver architecture for finely detailed vehicle dynamics it isn't just simply like repurposed code it's an all new physics reimagined from the ground up the engine and turbo systems in hadron go far beyond standard models it employs a one-dimensional compressible fluid dynamic simulation which enables realistic turbo lag backfires knocking dieseling and even exhaust gas effects impacting the local airspace throttle response isn't linear or wimpy it emerges naturally from the combustion simulation itself resulting in an authentic throttle feel Hadron's drivetrain is modular and operates at a phenomenal 7200 hertz tick rate. That's 10 times the base physics rate, offering granularity in modeling every part of the system, clutch, differentials, gearbox behaviors across all the configurations. The result of this is ultra responsive transitions, authentic mechanical behavior and minimal latency in response. If you think tyre simulation is just about grip zones, then think again. Hadron is simulating both the tyre carcass using finite element elastic modelling with emergent behaviours like vibration, telescoping and twisting and the uh, tread via a discrete 2D contact patch at up to 10,000 Hz. This enables real water channel interaction and true aquaplaning, not simplistic wet road approximations. The force feedback isn't artificial either, it's simulated accurately from the tie rod, providing the driver a deep feel that's faithful to real world steering inputs. All of this amounts to a tie model that replicates feel, feedback and emergent behaviour, enhancing immersion like never before. Hadron deploys a piecewise aerodynamics model, meaning wings, winglets, under trays and aero components dynamically influencing each other in real time rather than being isolated. To put it simply, tweak one aero element, say a rear wing, and the effects propagate realistically through the aero balance, which is definitely next level fidelity for sim racing. Beyond the physics, Project Motor Racing includes true-to-track, dynamic weather, adaptive drying lines and day-night cycles to simulate evolving track conditions. Each licensed car undergoes rigorous testing and approval via the factory driver program, ensuring racing pros and brand partners sign off on the handling. The result of this means every machine from LMDH to Vintage GT class is authentic through both physics and real-world testing. A few people have asked why does this really matter, but you know, let's compare quick. So a set of Corsa uses laser scan tracks and has strong physics, but its updates are built on older architectures. And Project Cars 2 features dynamic tracks, which is uh, used on their Live Track 3.0 feature, and the weather, optimized for VR and esports, but offers only a 200 hertz tire model. Hadron, in contrast, brings a consistent 720 hertz vehicle physics rate, 10,000 hertz tire modeling, modular drivetrain, realistic force feedback, and detailed aero systems. It's not just iterative, it's a potential leap forward, a giant leap forward for the genre. And there you have it guys, Hadron is Project Motor Racing's physics engine and it's shaping up to be one of the most technically ambitious sim engines ever announced. From high frequency tyre and drivetrain modelling to fluid dynamics and true aerodynamics, it looks poised to deliver unmatched realism. 
So let me know what you think about the Hadron guys down there in the comments below. Uh, I may be saying it wrong. I do apologize if not. However, please do correct me in the comments. I can't wait to hear all of your suggestions. So yeah, that's it for me in today's video, guys. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Are you as excited as I am to feel this kind of dynamic weight shifting from your tires, reacting to turbo lag or sensing some exhaust pulsations all in real time? Please do let me know in the comments below. I do like to reply to as many as I possibly can, and I do read as much as I possibly can. And if you did enjoy this breakdown, guys, please do hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're new for more sim racing and uh, videos here on the channel. I'll be having a lot more on Project Magic Racing coming soon, but do again, let me know down there in the comments below if you'd like to hear something see a new video on something in particular please do let me know i'll uh, definitely get into it tell me guys that is it for me in today's video if you did enjoy it please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you ever in my next video guys thank you for watching bye bye